Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss modifying and adding a row in our data frame, right? So first of all, we have created a data frame with three columns and five rows with the numbers 1 to 15. We have given a nested list and created it. Okay. Now, now I am directly trying to update the row 1 and 2. I want both the rows to have value as 10. So I write df square bracket. Now we have seen that in when we use df square bracket slicing, the slicing can only fetch row data. So here I'm fetching from row 1 colon row 2. I said that in label based indexing, there is no n minus 1. So in row 1 and 2, both. It will make the change what? That these both rows will have 10 as their value and as we print the data we can clearly see here that 10 has been in the row 1 and 10 has been in the row 2 right moving forward now i am putting three different values to be printed in the row 1 colon row 2 that means row 1 and 2 i want to update now i'm putting three values because both the rows has three three values each three columns each so what will it, it will do now here that it gave both the rows the given list okay now i want to give different values in all these two rows so what i use i use nested list in the nested list the first indexed list will go to the first row given and the second indexed list will go to the second row given now please remember that how many element we want to update that many element we have to give after the equals to in a list format okay usually or we can give a scalar value that will be same in all the way okay in all if we are giving a scalar value it will be same in all but if we are giving a value more than one for example one two so we should make sure that there are two values we are trying to update uh, update now here we are trying to update you know around six values so we are giving here six values here if i would have given five it will give me an error right four it will give me an error right here i have given three values still it didn't give me an error because this was this could be given to both the rows right i hope that's cl quite clear now moving on to i'm using block and i lock to update the values just look at here that i use df dot i lock and I give what I have given here row 3 to be updated with what 9, 8, 7 these value already row 3 has 7, 8, 9 as well I'm just reversing it so what happened you can notice in the row 3 that values are updated to what 9, 8 and 7, 9, 8 and 7 now moving forward using I lock. now here because we were using lock we have used the label based index in the I lock we can only use our implicit index now here I'm using one that means row number two I am targeting so when I write df dot I lock square bracket one that means I'm targeting at row index at one implicit index that means the row two I am targeting so I gave values as 6, 5, 4. Already it had values 4, 5, 6. Now I'm just reversing the order. So now when you look at what you look at the row 2, you can see that the order is reversed. In the upper side, you can see 4, 5, 6 were the values, right? In the upper one, you can see 4, 5, 6 were the values. Now below, you can see the change 6, 5, 4 are the values. So using lock and I lock also, you can make the changes, right? Now we are trying to understand certain error. Jamane at use ki or ek row 1 di that I want to update the values of row 1 with 3, 2, 1. Three values it has, I've given the right value, but it gave me an error. There are certain reasons why these errors have occurred. First one, that when we use at and I at, we have to give two arguments, row, comma, column. It could be one row label, it could be slicing, it could be one column label, it could be Col sliced column right but here i have given just row so it gave me an error second reason is that when we give a row and comma a column okay it can up what it will update just one value 
एट अ पर्टिकुलर रो इन अ पर्टिकुलर कॉलम हम एट एंड आई एट में स्लाइसिंग यूज नहीं कर सकते वी कैन नॉट यूज स्लाइसिंग इन एट एंड आई एट वी कैन जस्ट गिव वन रो लेबल कॉमा वन कॉलम लेबल और इंडेक्स ठीक है so one value can only be updated using at and i at does this throw an error similarly here also if i want to give uh, I, here i am trying to update row 1 with a scalar value that is zero i want all the three column to have zero value at the row 1 but it gave me an error similar reason that two arguments has to be posted also slicing cannot be used third that row comma column is the syntax so only one value can be updated using at and i at moving forward now using i at and at we'll look at so what we are doing df dot at we are using we are giving a row label i want to update row 1 at column 1 that means row 1 ka row 1 ka column 1 i want to update with what zero so you can see the result what it is that it has updated it with the zero as we wanted it to do so right now similarly here because we were using at we use the label based indexing similar to lock if you don't understand this you can look my earlier video where i have explained you know accessing the elements and i have explained at i at lock i lock usage properly with the label and implicit index now when i'm using i at so what i'm using in implicit index i want to update zero row at zero index at zero row what is it row 1 label at zero index there is column 1 label and i want to update it with what one so you can see one has come over here it is updated with the one earlier it was updated with zero now it is updated again with one all right moving forward we we'll look at using dot lock and i lock again we are looking at we we'll look earlier we have seen that a particular row या एक पर्टिकुलर कॉलम का डाल के हम कैसे अपडेट कर सकते हैं उस रो को या उस कॉलम को राइट right? ना अगर स्लाइसिंग का यूज करें एक पर्टिकुलर स्लाइस्ड रो या एक पर्टिकुलर रो और एक पर्टिकुलर कॉलम को अपडेट करने के लिए लेटस लुक एट सो व्हाट आई हैव यूज्ड इज डी एफ डॉट लॉक आई हैव गिवन अ स्लाइसिंग ऑफ रो दैट आई वॉन्ट टू अपडेट रो वन टू रो टू ओके एंड एट वॉट कॉलम वन सो रो वन से रो टू एट कॉलम वन देर विल बी टू प्लेसेस देर विल बी टू यू नो areas to fill so i have given here in the list two elements 0 and 1 so you can see that at row 1 column 1 and row 2 column 1 the value is updated with 0 yahan pe ek single row ek single column de sakte the and similarly se i at aur at ki tarah use kar sakte the jab wo ek value ko update karta similarly i lock will work jab humne slicing di hai please make sure that whatever element we are giving this should be correct with the number of elements to fill for example here two elements has to be filled so it should be correctly given if we just want to fill you know all the data with the same value we'll just write here for example 10 will just write here no list has to be used so what it will do it will update all the values will 10 because it's a scalar but when we are defining it in the list we have to be accurate with the number of element we are trying to update this is all for today thank you follow us on the telegram for the latest syllabus material study material and for all the ppts pdfs etc and follow us on the instagram the link is in the description